Hey everybody, so <clears throat> I bought this Garmin 695 on eBay and uh, it was uh, described as fully functional uh, but when I got it, <clears throat> it had this uh, battery missing alarm that came on. I took the battery out, I cleaned the contacts, I did all the simple things and it didn't fix it. So my friend Henry suggested I go online and, and look up, uh, see how I can kind of jump start this battery and I ran into this set of instructions which basically states that when you get that um, that alarm on the unit, you can take the battery out with these um, marked jumpers and hold the leads to the two uh, contacts that is shown here for no more than three seconds. That, in theory, jump starts the battery, which then allows the unit to start um, uh, charging the, uh, the battery. So with that said, <clears throat> I'm gonna give that a shot and see what happens. Okay, so with the battery removed here, uh, in the same orientation as shown there, I'm going to substitute the battery for my charger, which has um, a 12 volt 50 amp setting. Uh, it also has a 12 volt 10 amp setting uh, that I can use as well to uh, to kind of jump start this thing. I'm going to go ahead and go to a 12 volts 50 amps real quick, no more than three seconds, like it's suggesting, and um, and see what happens. Or I can do the 12 volt 10 amp and see what happens, but I think the 12 volt 50 amp might be a good jump start. So, uh, there it is right here. Okay, hold that. Uh, we've got the leads ready to go. We're on 12 volts. There we go. Okay, so it's important, again, to pay attention to the leads as the, the connectors facing us. Center negative on the left, positive center on the right. Okay. No more than three seconds. I'll put the uh, negative on first. It's going down. And we're going to do this. One, two, three. Okay, that's it. Three seconds as suggested. Let's go ahead and try to see what happens here. Put the battery back in. Lock it back in place. Hook up the power. Let it go through its boot up sequence. And uh, this just takes a couple of seconds. Okay, and so you can see that now the battery is charging and the little symbol here indicates that it's now taking a charge. So it's important to um, make sure you use a car battery that has 50 amps, no more than three seconds. And uh, what it basically does is reboots the battery to have a small enough charge that the Garmin can now actually detect it so it can pick it up to start charging. And uh, we just saved $200. That's the cost of a new battery. So anyhow, guys, uh, it's a quick thing I found online. I'll include the link for these uh, set of instructions. And uh, you guys can uh, try it on your own if, uh, if you so wish, okay? Anyways, thanks for watching.